Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. My name is Monica Martinez, and now we are going to be looking at how to share folders and also what to do if somebody has shared a folder with you. So let's start by sharing folders we've created. So I'm going to go over on the left hand side and show you my uh, folders that I already have created. And the one that we're going to share with another account of mine is going to be this demo folder one. There are different ways in which you can share a folder directly here. After selecting the folder, you can right click over that folder and you'll notice in the drop down menu, I have several options, including the share icon and button. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and it'll pop open a window that gives me some sharing options. Now, I'm gonna show you in addition to doing it this way that there are other ways to find that little share icon. But either way, once you get to this window, you can add that person's email address and I'm just gonna add my other account here. And you'll notice that when I'm sharing a folder or a document, et cetera, it gives me several options. One is whether or not I wanna notify that person via email that I've shared something with them. And I highly recommend that you leave this selected because it lets them know that something's been shared with them. The other option you have here is to give them different kinds of rights to those particular items that you're sharing. When sharing a folder, you have view rights and editor rights. Editor rights gives that person the ability to be able to move the folders around into other folders, be able to add and edit files that are within those folders as well. Once you've made your choices, simply click on the send button down at the bottom, that blue button, and that's going to then send an email to that particular person. And as you can see, if you are sending this from your school account, let's say you're sharing a folder of some important resources and documents with parents and parents don't have a school account, it will give you this pop-up notification letting you know that you are sharing these items with someone that's outside of your school. If, of course, you are doing this on purpose and you know that that's, uh, that's the case, simply click on share anyway, and it'll allow you to share that folder or those documents. And what's gonna happen is that person's going to receive an email because we left that box selected to let them uh, be notified. So I've already done this ahead of time. I've sent myself an item um, that I shared from my other account. So I could show you what it would look like when you receive an email from somebody who has shared a folder or a document with you, or if you've sent this to somebody, this is also what it would look like for them. So the email comes in and you'll notice that in the subject line, it says invitation to collaborate. And it'll put this subject, whether it's a folder or a document, et cetera. So it'll do it the same way. And what you'll see here in, uh, in your e email, uh, is that it'll have, uh, in this case, the icon of the folder because we shared a folder. Otherwise, it would be a document or a spreadsheet, et cetera. And from here, I can simply click on that particular item here via the link or click the blue button that says open. I'm going to click on the blue item here that says Empower Design, which is the uh, folder that has been shared with me. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And so this opens up that folder that has been shared with me. Remember, this is not my folder that sits on my Google Drive, but it is a folder that has been shared with me. Now, I like to organize things that are shared with me that I'm going to need access to within my Google Drive. However, right now, this doesn't sit on my drive. This has been shared with me, which would normally be located under the shared with me section. But you can't organize content in there. It just play, lists everything just at random pretty much everywhere. So what I want to do is come up here to the top to where it has the title Empower Designs. That's the name of that folder. And I'm going to click on that drop down arrow. And from here, I'm going to select Add Shortcut to Drive. And what this is going to allow me to do is to add almost like you're adding the folder to your Google Drive so that you can organize it. But really, it's a shortcut in that it's a link that allows you to get to that folder. But again, it's allowing me to organize it. So I really like this option. So add shortcut to drive. And it's going to open up my um, Google Drive window here so that I can organize it by simply clicking on the arrow here to the right of where it says my drive. I'm going to go ahead and come into my folders and select the folder in which I want to put that content in. So I'm going to select my demo folder one and then say add shortcut.
Again, you can sift through all of your different folders. And if you have folders that have subfolders and so forth, then you can actually keep going until you find the folder where you want to put that content in. Now, if you want it to sit as a main folder, then you simply just select drive and then select add shortcut and it'll drop it in as a main folder in your Google Drive. But again, if you want to do it into a subfolder, Added to a subfolder, simply click on that arrow so that you can get to all of your other folders to find the right folder for that particular um, folder that you're looking for to drop in um, this new folder that's been shared with you. So I'm going to select one here, add shortcut, and I'm going to say yes, add shortcut. And it looks like that the, the folder I added it to was a subfolder uh, or a shared folder as well. Um, but here you go. You can see the um, folder has now been added and you can tell the difference too if it's a folder that's been shared with you because it has that little arrow icon next to the folder. Now you'll also notice that my folder has a little person. All these folders have little people inside them allowing me to see an icon that tells me information. So this means that that folder is a shared folder. Folders that are not shared do not have the little person inside them. That's the difference between um, the, the different folders here that you see as icons. So my graphic work, that hasn't been shared with anyone, but invoices has been shared and it has that little icon on it. So that's a clear indicator. And again, the icon that you're looking for as visual is that little arrow letting you know that, hey, this is a folder that has been shared with you. Uh, it doesn't actually sit on your drive, but it, it has allowed you certainly via the step I just showed you to be able to organize it within your Google Drive. So that is how you organize shared folders that have been shared with you, because otherwise you would have to go to the shared with me section. And again, that section looks just like a complete mess. Like there's just so much that you're going to find in here and it doesn't put it in any particular order other than by you filtering by dates up here and, or, or by name. But sometimes it's a little hard to find that content. So I really like that you can actually add things directly to your drive via that little shortcut. So remember always to leave that check mark selected when it asks if you want to send people an email because it makes it really easy for them to come to that email, find that link here, click on it, and then be able to organize it. All right, last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back to our Google Drive because I wanna show you once again. So we shared a folder um, with another colleague, right? And I showed you one way to do that, and that was by simply coming to that folder, right-clicking and clicking that little share button. But the other way to do this, once you've selected your folder, you'll notice that up here at the top right, you also see that little uh, plus symbol with a little guy that allows you to share it from there as well. The rest of the steps are the same. Um, but a third way to do this as well is to right click over the folder from the list view. And once again, you get that share link. Last way to do this is to simply create a link that's going to allow you to then share that link with people. So if you actually want to separately email people and tell them what this folder is about and not necessarily just share it from Google Drive, then you just simply say get link. And that's going to give you um, the option for the link right here that you can easily just copy. And notice that you can also on here change where it says restricted only people um, added to that folder, if you've already added them, can actually open that link. You can actually change those settings to anyone within your organization or anyone with the link can actually access that particular folder. But once you copy that link and you click on done from here, you can actually go back to your email, draft of an email, send it to folks and just drop that link in there in that email as opposed to sharing the folder um, the way that I just share, uh, showed you via that little plus symbol with um, with that little guy on there. So different ways to share folders. I hope this has been helpful and that you uh, now uh, see that you have different ways to share based on what your intent is for sharing your folders. Anyway, happy sharing.